Governor, we've been talking about uh, the challenges faced by correspondent banks in terms of the regulations. Some, sometimes they're pulling out of markets because they can't comply with the regulations. Also, there's a, there's a cost pressure. Um, I, I mean, how can SWIFT help banks to deal with these pressures? So our focus has been to develop utility type solutions that the whole industry can adopt to, you know, for something that they see as a commodity activity, right? There's, there's no competitive advantage in these things. So we've developed a few of them. One is sanction screening, where we're now, uh, we've signed up a 500th customer. So that one is, has, has gone very nicely. Uh, the other big one is the KYC repository, where right. we now have 2,600 uh, customers on it. And I think they all share um, two things. One is the, it, it, it helps uh, banks to be more granular about these, uh, these things, preventing exclusion, if you will, um, preventing whole segments to be excluded. You can actually look at individual transactions and individual banks rather than saying, I don't want to do business with this uh, geography. With this country or this person, yeah. <laughs> and I think the other important one is, is one of the trends you see with regulation is the investments have now become so big that only the largest banks can uh, can make them. This allows many more banks to stay in that game of, of, of being part of correspondent banking uh, by, by, if you will, syndicating the, the investments among, uh, among many. So it also keeps the ecology richer by allowing people to, uh, to stay in uh, by using a utility uh, type solution. All right, so, so, so how much does this cut in terms of due diligence um, by having this system? We think it's significant. On the KYC uh, repository, it really has a rich set of information on, on all of the correspondent banks um, that banks can make available to their correspondent on a very granular uh, basis. We add to that information that we have on these banks from the network patterns that we, that we can see that the banks can make available to their, uh, to their counterparts. Um, so it's, it's really a rich, a rich set that we think significantly speeds up and lowers the cost of onboarding new, new correspondent banks. Because, because one of the big worries has been that you know, some markets like Africa, uh, we've seen banks pulling out, they've just said it's too risky to operate there, they can't see who they're dealing with. Um, you know, is there enough information in your system to make it safe to, to operate in some of these more, more difficult markets? We think so, and what we're also seeing is we see countries that have made a real effort as a country to, to increase transparency um, and, and say to their customers, to the banks, and that we want all of you to adopt some form of sanction screening, be it from SWIFT or from somebody else, and that makes a difference as well. They really are upping the game by stepping forward as a country, uh, providing these tools to all the banks as a way to sort of yeah, increase their rankings in the FATF uh, country rankings and make sure they stay part of, of the community rather than be, be excluded. So it comes from, from both angles. Uh, and we've talked about the big banks, but what about the fintechs that are getting into this space? Are they going to um, avail of their services as well? Absolutely. I mean, Cybos is for everybody. Uh, we, we do not monopolize it. Um, so we'll have a number of what's called RegTech, uh, regulation technology players here at Cybos uh, to offer their wares to customer. And, uh, and clearly, this is a competitive field. And there are many more offers, all of which will be, uh, will be uh, visible here for, uh, for our banks. Godfrey, we're looking forward to a very exciting Cybos. Thank you. Thank you.